What was the meaning of my deceased loved one's life? Well, we are design creatures, but not by impersonal, intelligent, unfeeling, amoral nature. Nature didn't design us. We are designed by a personal, intelligent, and feeling God. The sum total of our life uh, encompasses this life, and then after the resurrection, there's a life going forward, possibly going forward into eternity. If we give ourselves to Jesus, then we can go forward into eternity. So we can do good, not only in this life, but also in that portion uh, of our life to come. This means that the value of your life and the life of your deceased loved one is potentially nearly infinite. Have you ever think about that? Yes, you're, the good you can do is not necessarily limited by this life. God thinks about us. He makes beautiful opportunities for us. He, he desires that we combine with him to do good for others. He is a good God. We're not evolved. We're created. In evolution, we have the same uh, purpose as syphilis. I mean, to simply reproduce, mindlessly reproduce. That's not the way we are. Every single person is created by God. God has an intelligent and loving purpose, a kind purpose for you and I. There's a lot more to life than mere experience and sensation. There's, an, there's a whole universe filled with intelligent, benevolent, love-giving beings, persons. And all these things reflect the goodness of the Creator. Your value and the value of your deceased loved one, it's in two things. First of all is the image that God made us in. We are like Him in so many ways. We have a moral capacity. We can love beauty. We can think re and reason. We can be intelligent. We have been given will. We can make choices. And so in those ways, we are like God. Everybody gets that. But there's a second sense as well. See, beside this, you have the possibility of being remade, choosing to be a person who follows God's unselfish plan for living. And in that sense, our character can be remade. As our character is remade, we become more like him. We give more goodness out into the world. What do we choose to do with this God-given opportunity of life? Do we, do we choose base indulgence? Well, everyone does. But when God breaks through and shows us there's something more, then what do we choose? Do we choose to own more fully that narcissistic, self-centered, downward spiral into self-centeredness? Do we choose to embrace that? Or do we choose to embrace selflessness, unselfishness? Do we choose to em embrace doing good to others and for others? What do we choose when we come down to thinking it out and making those kinds of cho the choices, deciding what we're going to do with our life? That's one thing God is looking at, and that's something we can look at right now in this time of loss. Do we choose to resist self-aggrandizement, self-indulgence? And do we choose instead to do what conscience shows us is right? What are we choosing? If we respond to God by choosing to do good to others, to bring good into this world, you know, God notices that, and God is pleased by that. And this world is in a lot of trouble. It needs a lot of good brought into it. So God is looking for us to do that, if we'll just be willing. If we respond to God's initiatives to bring us from the despair of self-service to instead doing good for others, God will look on that with joy. The angelic beings will look on it with joy because this is what God's plan is, to bring good into the world through you and I. When we choose God's ways, he's ready to preserve us and then build us even further on out into eternity. So God has some pretty big plans for every single person who he has ever brought into being. And he doesn't give up those desires and those purposes very easily. We really have to push and squeeze and squirm and force ourselves into destruction. God wants us in his kingdom. He says, it's my good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So we can be sure that he has a purpose of goodness toward us. Humans are fallen beings. And so this fallen situation we have didn't have to be this way. I'll be talking about that in another presentation about the fall and about Jesus and what, who in the world is Jesus? What does Jesus stand for? What does Jesus and the cross mean? But for now, I want us to remember that God desires good for us even in a time of crisis. In fact, it's in the time of crisis many times that he does do good for us. So let us not be in despair. Instead, God has big plans, big plans, things he's been wanting to do for us for a whole lifetime. And sometimes now he's in a spot where he can do it. 
So let's not, not be too discouraged. Yes, we've experienced a loss. It's valid to mourn. It is right to mourn. But this isn't the end. This is one segment of life. As you consider the life of a loved one who's died, I want you to give some thought to the good that they've done and how much self-giving they've given toward others. For many of us, a loved one who's died was our, our parent, a primary caregiver, somebody who gave an enormous amount of energy out of their life to give you good life. And so when you think about that, something to keep in mind is we feel confusion and uncertainty about what's happening now. Why, why would God allow this person to die? This person may be one who's done a lot of good, and God knows all about that. See, everybody has served self. Everybody has done some good to others. The question is, what, at the end of the life, when we look back, what is the thing that has predominated? What was the shape that that person was taking in terms of who they were becoming? And God knows all about it. And we can be really glad that a loving and a good God has intervened to give us good things. Good things in the gift of our deceased loved ones and good things for us still in the time that we have remaining. So may God be with us in a time of loss as we think about what is the meaning of life. Giving to others is a key factor. And God wants to do a mighty work for each one of us. But he knows all about it. God be with you now as we continue to look at these things in this brief series of presentations.